in my opinion, the Gauchos were 10, 15 years ahead of everybody. And uh, their skill level was people just couldn't believe it around here. And uh, it was amazing uh, how much better they were, how much better they passed the ball, how they could jump, play defense, anticipate, and move. And you know what was so impressive about the Gauchos is they were so good about it. They knew, I think, after a game or so, how much better they were. But credit to their coaches, they were such class guys. And they didn't kind of hot dog it or play it up. They still played hard. It was amazing, fun to watch them. They were so far ahead of everybody else. It was amazing. You would have had to put an all-star team from the rest of the tournament to, for them to compete against them. And I thought actually it wouldn't have been bad to, to see that as they went, went in. Uh, I remember Mashburn was supposed to come out. He played for Kentucky and ended up playing in the NBA, and he missed the flight. So that would, they would have been just that much stronger. You know, it was before social media really had come out. And you know, for a team from New York, uh, a club team that was as strong as they were, and to come out and kind of expose the community to basketball, played at a high level at the high school level, was, uh, was fun to watch. They were entertaining. I think they really loved being here, to be honest. Honest. They were they were treated like uh, rock stars, you know. Really, it was uh, the the community was uh, supportive of them, and they uh, got a lot of support across the board. And you know, the, you could tell that they were playing with some enthusiasm. They were winning the games by a lot, but they were still they weren't easing up. They were playing hard, and uh, they were playing to the crowd. They really enjoyed the support that they got from the environment environment that was there.